Welcome back guys, um, I just uh, wanted to, um, this pr probably going to be a short video, a short tutorial, or a short part of the tutorial, I just wanted to show you what, how to, uh, how my image planes were set up in um, Maya, you can see here um, I, I used my Wesley Snipes um, first gen um, images references let me see if I can show you what I had and here's the front one this will be the side the side view that's the perspective view uh, I'm sorry uh, that's the perspective um, you can see right here I have the perspective image plane actually let me go ahead and I mean I guess most of you know how to set up your image planes the different ways of doing it how I do it I um, these are knobs planes. I go ahead and create knobs planes. I um, rotate it upwards, of course, and then um, you go to your hyper shade. Uh, first of all, you want to have these pictures open up in Photoshop. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm just going to tell you and um, check out the size. After doing that, you want to um, resize your planes to that to the size of your um, references or the pictures let me see what I have here how can I select this guy excuse me like you can see it's um, X which is the height I believe oh no sorry that's the width is 5 and the scale is 5.556 in Photoshop um, the width and the height um, was a 5.556 by 5 so that was the size of my plane then you go create um, new Lambert and of course you double click your Lambert click on where it says color and you go look for the picture and then assign that to the to your um, knobs plane that's pretty much how to get it to do that to the front you make a copy of that, you turn it the other way around and you do, you do it for the side and you just position them the way I have here I really don't want to go into all of that right now let me go ahead and uh, put this as reference again and you can see right here I have the perspective right here at this between the front and the side that's, <coughs> excuse me that's because I created a new camera uh, which is this guy right here um, perspective camera but it's um, orthographic and if um, how you do that you go to um, create cameras camera you go to options box and to make sure it's orthographic you make sure this box right here is um, checked after doing that you can actually um, you can see the camera right here itself you can rotate it and move it just make sure it's right here facing your perspective view and um, I use the top view at times when I need to see how it's coming along so go to uh, panels orthographic and that's what I call it Pespol I don't know why I called it that I call it frontal side all and then this one I call Pespol which is pretty stupid but and here it is hit 6 and here's a perspective view you can see the camera moving around as I zoom in as I zoom in and out so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I created with this um, image planes reference images sorry there we go I can see how it works so if I had this as, as um, x-ray you can um, you can quite make out the perspective view back there behind it it's kinda difficult now because it's already textured but um, as you model you can see what you're doing um, something else I do at times I flip the perspective um, view around and move it to the side so I can compare side by side uh, I don't know sometimes that works for me but here's the guy unfortunately he doesn't really let me hide his um, bandana I didn't really get the Wesley Snipes look on him I mean the features are pretty much uh, there as the first gen um, 
image but I've never been able to um, create a model that looked exactly like my reference images so I'm still working on that I think the bandana is kind of cool so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this and show you um, side by side comparison here this is your original as um, face gen and this is what I have this is what I modeled not too bad but I just thought I should show you how this will work in Maya and um, I'm gonna try to come back with another tutorial probably on um, animating um, exporting your animations from Maya to UDK I've always wanted to do that but um, that's him and um, thanks for watching again you guys please um, subscribe and um, rate my video let me know what you think how good this tutorial was I think it was a little bit too long just for a reference image tutorial but that's how long it took so I'll see you guys later um, have fun bye